Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word. Thanks for joining us as we are continuing our, our journey through the book of Matthew right now on The Regular Dude. Today I wanted to talk about the authority of Jesus um, and how it was being questioned. And then also we're going to jump right into the parable of the two sons. Okay, so this is taken today from Matthew 21 verses 23 through 32. So if you have your Bibles like I do. You can turn there with me. Um, it says this, and again, this is Matthew 21, th 23 through 32. Jesus entered the temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things, they asked, and who gave you this authority? You remember just uh, a little while before he had uh, cleansed the temple, he had cleared the temple. Okay, and they were asking, oh, what authority do you have to do this and to be teaching the way you do? Okay, verse 24, Jesus replied, I will also ask you one question. And this was a common thing to do. To You would ask a question and then they would ask a question back to you to answer that question. Okay, this was not, uh, he wasn't being um, uh, unusual here. This was uh, a common practice of those teachers of that law. Um, if you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I'm doing these things. John's baptism. Where did it come from? Was it from heaven or from human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of, for the people, of the people, for they hold that John was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We don't know. Okay. They did know, but they uh, were afraid. Then he said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Okay? We know that Jesus has the authority of, of whom? God. Yeah. <laughs> it's God's son. Okay? So he has the, that authority um, to, to do those things. Okay? Because he's God's son. He's God. Pretty cut and dried, if you think about it. Let's move on to the parable of the two sons. This is verse 28. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the farmer went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, but he did not go. Which of the two did, not, did what his father wanted? The first they answered, Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to show, to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did, and even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. This is a picture here of um, the religious system of that day. And Jesus was used this parable, and they knew good and well, or what he was talking about, okay? This is a picture of the religious system and how it is, um, they weren't truly following God, they were following their religious system, okay? And so that's when he, the, he says, you're like the second son, okay? But then he brings up the, uh, the, uh, the first son who said, I, I don't want to do that. But then he changed his mind and did follow him, okay? And then he was devoted. Okay, and those would be the people that had just repented and been saved, you could say. And those are the prostitutes, the tax collectors, and so forth. And he says, um, let me reread that, uh, verse uh, into 31. Jesus said to them, truly I tell you, the tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. Okay, so he's sh showing you that the religious leaders, and you can you can look at this and you can go, you know, that, that, that's great for then, and that applies to them, but this applies to today. You can think that I go to church and I do the, all those religious things, therefore I'm okay. And God is saying, no, you're not okay. You, religious things don't do, is not the, the thing. It is the relationship with Jesus, okay? And so that's what he's pointing out. It's that true relationship with Jesus. And um, you're going to see in tomorrow's episode that you need to have that fruit. Okay. 
So he's saying that. And then verse 32, for John came to you to show you the way of righteousness and you did not believe him. Okay, the, fair, the religious leaders were like, ah, oh, John the Baptist, we don't need to listen to him. We have our religious way. And he's, John the Baptist is just preaching repentance. That's all he's doing. And they ignored him. Okay, they didn't believe him. But, and he says, but the tax collectors and prostitutes did. And he says, even after you did see this, you still did not repent. So, <laughs> true, true Christianity is not religious stuff, doing religious thing. True Christianity is first repenting and then following Jesus. Okay? It's as simple as that. If I am going to be a true Christian, I first of all need to repent. I can't continue to um, live in my sin. I need to repent, and then I need to follow Jesus. That's what true Christianity is. Okay? And that's what Jesus is pointing out here today. So remember that. True Christianity is what? Repentance, first of all, and then turning and following Jesus. That's the second thing. Thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through the book of Matthew. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.